I'm off, so I'm off the wrong day. I swear by the Almighty God that the evidence I shall be before this court touching the matter in question shall be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. So help me God. I'm investigating a case of murder contrary to section 203, as read in section 204. Nicholas Joroge Warunge, his wife Anne Wajiko Jenga, son Christian Jenga Joroge, their niece Maxwell Jenga, Mason, who was called James Kenyanjui Wamba, the first victim to fall in the hands of the killers was uh, James Kenyanjui Wamba, who was killed uh, in a construction ha house uh, just beside uh, the main house where the rest of the family resided. He was able to gain entry of the house and killed first Ann Wajiko Joroge. So the next victim to fall into the house of the killer was uh, uh, Christian Jenga Joroge. The victim to fall into the hands was uh, Nicholas, who was trying to escape outside the balcony. And the last victim was Maxwell Jenga Yona. During, after execution of the said act, police uh, arrived at the previous, uh, at the scene where the Mason James Kenyajui was killed and processed and documented the scene. Well, the suspect, that's when uh, a team of uh, officers, including the DCI homicide, was called in, Your Honor. And we started our investigations. Uh, indications were that all victims uh, had been hit by a blunt object, which was followed by multiple sharp uh, force injuries. So, uh, in the course of investigation, notice that uh, the first respondent, uh, who is the eldest son of the deceased, uh, Nicholas, uh, had gone missing. Able to apprehend him on, either on the evening of 8th January, at Loa Kabete. After apprehension of the first respondent, uh, he led us uh, to Dika Biafra Estate, uh, where he resides with uh, the second respondent, who is his girlfriend. Now we conducted search uh, in the same residence and recovered some uh, exhibits, after which we set on uh, interviewing the first re respondent, who confessed uh, to the initial, to the killings uh, and uh, gave details of the planning he led us uh, uh, to Jikaze the following day, Jikaze Estate in Maimahiu, within Nakuru, where he had disposed of some uh, exhibits, uh, including clothes and uh, the murder, murder tools. We were able to recover debris of uh, Burns' clothes, and uh, we also recovered uh, the suspected murder weapon. So now, we are still on, uh, ongoing with the investigations, Your Honor. And uh, from the time that we arrested uh, the respondents, uh, the time has been insufficient to enable us to conclude investigations, Your Honor. I also want uh, Your Honor uh, to conduct a DNA test on the respondents for comparison with the exhibits recovered, Your Honor. Uh, the investigation is uh, mobile since we are moving from one point to another in respect uh, to uh, redocumenting the initial suspect's movement. Your Honor, also owing to the number of victims uh, that fell to the crime, we pray that uh, we be given time
to be able to conduct postmortems, to be uh, conducting, uh, causing the conduct of a mental assessment on the accused persons, so, on the respondents, Your Honor. So. Your Honor, waiting for 14 days, Your Honor. So what and what have you done? You have not done. We have not. Uh, yes, Your Honor. We have not completed uh, the recovery of, of experts, Your Honor. We have not uh, collected their DNA samples, Your Honor. We have also not conducted their mental assessment, Your Honor. And we are still retracing some witnesses, Your Honor. The incident has abrupted a lot of uh, public uh, agitation. The lives of the respondents may be in danger if they are released, uh, Your Honor. The suspect, the first respondent also went into hiding after the incident, which is an indication to the investigators that if released, considering the grievous, the grievousness of the offense, it may act as an incentive for the respondents not to appear before court, Your Honor. Sisters uh, to the respondents uh, whose life may be in danger, the respondents is released. That the second respondent be remanded at uh, Modaiga Police Station. The first, first respondent. considered that application dated 11th of January 2021 and the affidavit in support sworn by the IO in this matter. I have considered the gravity of the offence being investigated and the fact as explained by the investigating officer that the investigations cover a large area including outside the jurisdiction of this court. I have also considered that if the suspects are released, their lives uh, may be in danger due to the gravity of the offence. Besides the two minors who are siblings to the first respondent, uh, may also be in danger if the suspects are released. The investigations remaining also require substantial time to be completed. But to cap it all, the suspects say they have understood the application and they have no objection to that. So in the circumstances, I allow the application for remand as prayed regarding the police stations indicated. And I remand them for a period of 14 days. So they come for mention. Oi! Junge, wie das hier der Oi-Kiri wird das eigentlich?